Morgana mid. What the fuck is that team comp? God, that is a weird comp. I don't know what Morgana does into Zed. Zed has no hard CC. It's all physical damage. It seems to me Morgana would be a really poor choice for that lane. Her shield literally does nothing against Zed. Oh, wait. His passive does magic damage. It does that, then. Rumble strong right now, sure, but only against uh, AP champs. Against AD champs, well, he's just right. Hi, drop your ward. Got it. Got the ward. One for one ward kills at level one today. God, I love it. Oh, looks like I shared the experience with the uh, uh, the Elise. That's too bad. I might not hit level two on the first wave. I W jinx into us. Free kill. I like how this Alistair thinks. I'm not sure if that'll be a free kill, but I like how he thinks. And yes, I have to keep in mind that Rumble early on is very strong, and Urgot early on is very weak. So I probably need to wait to 9 before I can kill him. It might be a struggle just farming, but we'll see. Rumble's a mid-range champ. His range is roughly my range. But he is a monolith champ, which means he doesn't need to worry about um, resources, which is always a frustration for me. God, that does a lot of damage. But that's him when he's not stacking. Damn, that was enough for me to hit level 2. Too bad he backed away. Got oh, I did not get him. That would have been really nice, but whatever. Minor opportunity cost, because in the end, this is still shoving in whether he likes it or not. And now he's going to need to farm under his turret when the minions are not exactly at precise levels of health. That one might not make it. Oh, he's actually going to get all of it. But I'm up 13 to 7. That's nice. Their Diana also won't be able to come gank anytime soon. What? Was that aimed at me? Are you? How? Dude. Rude. Nice. I even got a shotgun off. Oh my god, am I dead? I'm just dead. I'm actually just straight up dead. How much damage does this fucking champ do? I think the Elise has it. I hope the Elise has it. Um, she doesn't have it. Please kill this, thank you. Oh, that's not another kill. Fucking shield, good. At least we got one out of that and a double buff. I come out ahead. Screw you, Rumble. Like, seriously, what the fuck was that damage? I know he was level 3 before me, but that's ridiculous. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous. Love it if we could dive him, but I don't think so. At least I have double buff now. And I'm way up in farm for some reason. He did not get to back clean, but I didn't get to get healing either. He came back with much better items than me. Oh, well. huh? Wait, what? There's a ward in here? It that doesn't make any sense. Oh. Oh, you're in trouble. No, I'm in trouble. Never mind, I'm dead. I'm actually dead. I'm I'm actually dead. I have double buff. Why the fuck does he hit so much harder than me? Okay, now I'm upset. That doesn't make any fucking sense to me. That... That doesn't make any fucking sense to me how he hits that much harder than me. He does double my damage at this point. Physically does double my damage. I land everything with my kit. He hits me twice as hard. That... That includes him missing stuff. 
His Q wasn't on me the entire time. That's him doing part of the damage of his Q. Me doing the literal full damage of my kit, having double buff and still doing half his damage over the course of an extended fight. Half of his damage? Are you kidding me? Okay, I see. Yeah, you know what? Rumble needs nerfs. Rumble needs nerfs. I can't actually think of any champion where at that point in the game I'd lose as hard as I just did. Like, legit, I can't think of one. I, I don't, I don't understand what just happened. Where I land literally every part of my kit and I can't even take half of his life down. And he can literally kill me during that time. One rotation of his abilities and a couple overheat autos and I'm dead. Why does he hit so hard? I don't know if we can. He's six, I'm not. For fuck's sake. Good, we got him. <sighs> My E connected just in the nick of time. Thank you, Elise, for that return gank. Oh, fuck's sake. I can't believe how strong Rumble is right now. That is nuts. A Monolith champion shouldn't be this fucking strong this early. I know he has terrible scaling, but I, 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 this is just ridiculous. Oh god. At least I got my double buff back. Ah, oh, fuck, I can't afford Tiamat. Really need it against him. Well, at least now we got a pickaxe. I'm gonna get Tiamat into Stride Breaker. Probably need Merc Treads, let me see. Yep, yeah, definitely need Merc Treads, if just for the Morgana. I tried slow pushing the Reveal the enemy tower to set up Cheater Recall. I prefer my method. I like hitting two first, setting up wards, and playing defensive. All the farm. Now, if I'm behind him, I'm only behind him a little bit in experience. I'm trading okay with him, but I don't have any potions. And I've got no MR, and he did go immediately for Sword. So we're just going to have to play the save. While the Scrap Shield's down, I'm not too worried. But while he's near Overheat, he does have a massive damage advantage against me. I actually hit him. Ugh. They just buff that thing's damage, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, really? I got none of that. Shocking to me that they just buffed this champ. It's just because nobody plays him, not because he isn't good. And he still gets played more in the pro scene than Zach. Didn't get the cannon. God, I can't even stay, can I? Get him, Elise. She's got him. Doesn't even need the Zed. Or she needs the Zed. Get him, Zed. Get him, Zed! Get him, boys! Thank you. Oh, it's nice to have allies.
Ooh, which one is mine? Which one is A? When I hit nine, this rumbles in for a world of hurt. And because my allies have helped me as much as they have, I am behind 20 CS, which really sucks, but he keeps dying, which is good for me. Unfortunately, it looks like the rest of my team ain't doing so hot. Our bot lane is struggling. Thing is, once the rumble falls off, he falls off hard. So let's just get to that point, where we can make him fall off. Damn, that was stupid. I gotta be careful. Still hit me. I, I need. I, act, I might be dead. I am not dead. That is just insane how much damage this champion does. I, I physically cannot be near him. And my damage is, is, is pathetic compared to it. God, that is insane just how weak I am to him. Come on, nine. Got it. Now that I'm 9, I actually can potentially kill him. Thing is, he's near overheat, and when he overheats, he's much stronger than me, apparently. I need to catch him between overheats, but I can't even do that. Jesus Christ. He just took off half of my life like that. Hitting me with half, half of his Q and a single one of his E's. Oh, he's proxing now. Nothing I can really do about it, but I don't know why he's proxing. I guess Diana could come and dive me now. Oh. Oh, I might be... I'm alive. Jesus Christ, I can't lane. I, I actually can't lane against him. Again, it's shocking just how much stronger he is than me. At a point where I should actually be okay, but I'm not. I'm not okay. I can't take his damage at all. I can't, and, and the crazy part is almost all of the damage he's done to me was under turret. And there goes my turret. Fuck. You prefer Mord. Honestly speaking, I feel like I've got more I could do against Mord. Am I dead? I am dead. Actually dead. Actually dead. Cool. My team completely abandoned me. Wow. Wow. Diana takes Rift Herald. I'm forced to back. No one on my team responds before two towers are gone. And by that, I mean no one on my team responded. Not no one responded before two towers are gone. No one responded. So two towers are gone. And keep in mind, this is 14 minutes into the game. My lane is dead. There's literally nothing I can do to recover from this, and this is after I got a bunch of help from my teammates, and I still can't compete with this rumble. He's so far beyond my capabilities to deal with, I don't even know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. One of his Qs does more damage than my entire kit. My entire fucking kit. One Q. One. An ability that has a shorter cooldown than anything I've got in my kit, I might add. My W is the only thing that has a shorter cooldown than his Q, and my entire kit, pre-9, does less damage than his Q. What exactly am I supposed to do? There were definitely points where I was even in items, I still couldn't do shit against him. I think I can kill her, though. 
if her shield's still down when this comes back. I'm just gonna stand here just in case. I see the Diana. Damn it. Oh. Alright, well, we both burned our ultimates. But she's the one who... I was the one who was doing better, but then the healing from her passive kicked in. At least I got her R. Um... Hmm. Drink some whiskey. I should. I hate playing against champions where it feels like I literally have no counter playing against Rumble. It feels that way. It feels like I literally have no counter play against him simply because I can never match his damage. Maybe if his Q had a cooldown attached to it, I might be able to, but it doesn't really seem to. God. Uh, they both died. Wow. I don't have my R. Even if I did, I don't think I can do anything about this. Oh! Whew! Juked! Well, I did manage to kill the Diana, and I managed to not die to the Morgon. Damn, the Morgana. The, the Diana is up 40 CS against the Elise with more kills and more assists. I, I'm trying to figure out where our win condition is, and I don't see it. Zed's early game, Elise's early game, I'm mid game. And they're winning across the board. Well, they're not winning across the board. Their bot lane isn't doing well, but from an objective standpoint, they're beating us across the board. I don't think this teleport's going to do anything, but i to try now. Uh, wait, what? Jinx. Those Jinx traps last a really long time, it seems. Because they had completely backed away, which means she fired them off over a second before I arrived. I'm not sure how good the stride breaker is even going to be. The rumble's really fed. Oh, I guess there is. I guess there is something we can do about this. My mistake. I can deal with Rumble. Good old quick backs. That's good. That overall worked out in our favor. We got a kill. We got the Rift Herald. Overall, not bad. Never mind. They definitely have the numbers advantage here. I thought we'd have the numbers advantage after killing the Diana and rotating, but... Oh crap, that is not what I meant to do. That was I meant to fucking ward. Well, that's a wasted Rift Herald. They're definitely going to kill it before I can do anything. If 
I said the top lane, it actually would have been a really good Rift Herald because it would have been around where the dragon is. Now, I'm basically just have the Zed for backup here. Very unlikely I'm going to be able to defend it. Alright, Rift Herald's dead. Oh, well, whatever. It was there, Rift Herald. I was just stealing it. Although now the whole team's here. Well, we're winning the fights! We're shockingly enough winning the fights, so that's good. The Diana is getting caught out and murdered. Too fast. And then Zed goes and dies in the 1v1 against Jinx. How does that happen, exactly? How does Zed lose the 1v1 into a Jinx? I mean, maybe if he doesn't have his ultimate, but even then, that's just very confusing. Good, no rumble teleport. I feel confident now. I've got I've got big items here. I'm not afraid of their uh, Diana anymore. I should be. She's really fed. Oh, God. Well, I guess I don't need to worry about them, but that's probably going to be one of our turrets down because of that, although there are no objectives on the bot side for them to take. Just gonna leave. I got what I wanted, I killed a turret. Two of my allies died, but we didn't lose anything, so altogether that's an even trade. I'll take it. Um, I actually want the Sterex next. Alright. Uh, let's see. I guess I... I mean, I should go bot lane. Yeah, my teleport's ready. Other people should be taking top and mid. The weak. Only Rumble has teleport. If he's not going bot lane to match me, no one on their team can. And I've seen two of them at least right now. I can't push any further than this, though. This is as far forward as I can push for the moment. I just need to hope someone on my team goes and deals with the top wave. Right, I'm not needed. Nice, that's a kill. Very nice. That should be Baron. That's two kills, two quick kills. They are getting caught and killed right now, and it's very fortuitous for us. Zed just died for nothing. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh no, don't bat him away! I need to eat this! Oh, you think you think we're done here? We are not done here. Okay, at least we got the Baron. And I killed the and I killed the Lulu, so good enough. That was not as clean as it can be, but we got everything. We robbed the bank and we got away. We had to leave a few guys behind, but we got away, damn it. Gonna have to pour a cold one out for Jerry. 
There's a Sterix Jesus I'm fed now. I'm eight and three? When the fuck did this happen? I'm actually more fed than their Rumble now. That's crazy. That's absolutely fucking crazy. I don't have teleport now, but my teleport was definitely useful. It didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do, but it did allow us to go get a whole bunch of kills and um, Baron. Come on, Jinx. Keep pushing. I dare you. I want to join the team, though. I'm rotating this way. Oh, she's dead. She's just dead. Uh, she's dead. Zed's got it. Yeah, it's already too late to flash. She's already gone. She lived. It was not too late to flash. Not gonna work. Coming through. There it is. There it is. <laughs> the stride breaker kill, baby. Don't die, please. Yeah, I'm going for this. You guys go for the dragon. Let me let me deal with this. Jeez, this game's over. This game's over. They have no ability to team fight. It seems. I'm shocked because they have a much better team comp than us at this point in the game, and they were fed before any of this started. This game's getting out of control. And yeah, I think they're relying a little bit too much on magic damage, which is really killing them right now. Because I got a bunch of MR now. How much MR do I have? 149. Yeah. Your magic pen means nothing to me. Your anti-heal means nothing to me. I don't have any healing left. It's all tank and damage. Therefore, started me. <laughs> Amnesia. Well, I gotta say, man, I this is what day five of playing League, and I have not had a bad day of League so far. Not necessarily uh, nothing but good League, but the point is, I've had fun every day more than I've suffered. So, it's not an issue of amnesia. The game itself, I'm having fun playing. I don't know what the cause of that is, but the case still remains. I am having fun. We don't have the whole team here. My teleport's ready. I want to shop. I can take him. I'm actually level 16 to his 15. I can take him. Oh, I was spotted by that pink ward. Why are you afraid to fight, Rumble? It's just me. <gasps> He's not! He's dead. He can't beat me. You can't win, dude. You can't win! I am much stronger than you now. Much, much stronger than you. Nice, and the Tristan... This game's over. Yeah, the Rumbles hit his expiration date. Me, on the other hand, I've gotten a lot stronger since the last time we faced 1v1. He can't face me anymore. I do too much damage. I absorb his damage too well. That's the problem with his damage. It's all front-loaded. It's all early game. Otherwise, it's his R in team fights. That's all he brings. That's what makes him a mid game champion is that his R is very strong in the mid game. But the problem that he has here is now what does he do? Oh my god, that turret's already gone. They're definitely taking this with Rumble down and Jinx down. How can they defend? It's good enough. Let's leave. We got everything we needed. Let's just go grab some more. Why not? The Zed is, in the meanwhile, splitting bot lanes. So that's awesome. Shit. Damn it, Zed! I'm fine. I'm fine! 
I'm fine! I don't know why anybody thinks I'm dying. I'm just fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rumble, you just don't do enough damage anymore. You just don't do enough damage. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. We're, he's, he's hit his expiration date, and unfortunately, you don't want to be playing Rumble when he hits his expiration date. Just like you don't want to drink milk past his expiration date. It's just not a good idea. It tastes awful. And that is game. We win. Wow, and I ended 14 and 3? What? Oh my god. After that miserable, unbelievably awful laning phase, I end the game 14 and 3? What? What? I don't have words. I don't have words. I I genuinely don't have words. I am going to give it to the Elise. Her early game ganks were really nice. I just fucked up in thinking that even with an advantage, I could beat that Rumble. Boy, was I wrong. Hey, we made it back to Plat. Yay. Now to make it back to Diamond. 14-3-5. I, I ended the top carry. The Rumble was the top carry on their team. I was the top carry on mine. The difference is, I'm pretty sure like 90% of my damage happened in the second half of the game, while at least half of his damage happened in the first half. Because it was just murdering me. Good for you. It's not really hard to kill an Urgot early game, but Rumble sure made it look easy. I'll say that. But you want to know the big difference between us? You want to know the big difference? Yeah, our damage looks really similar, but you want to know the thing that's different between us? Why does he have more self-mitigated damage than me? What the fuck? AP item, AP item, AP item, AP item with some health, AP item with some armor. Huh? What? This alone gave me more MR than his armor item gave him. Every single one of my items gave more health than the one item he got with... Okay, never mind. This only gives 200 health. This gives 250. But the point is, how the fuck did he have more self-mitigated damage? It includes all the damage the shield does, huh? That's some crock of shit right there. That just lets you know how much stronger his shield is than mine. As it looks like his shield did triple or quadruple duty. Actually, let me see. We can see that, right? Uh, never mind. How about self-shield? We can't see self-shielding, can we? Ain't that a bitch. If we could see self-shielding, we'd actually be able to tell the difference between us. And I... I imagine his self-shielding shielded him for, like, triple the damage my self-shielding did. Probably quadrupled. Because he can use his aggressively. In my case, my E use is almost always offensive in nature, which means that the shield isn't the point of it. In his case, the shield is something he can use to apply aggression. He pops his shield and gets a speed buff which makes it easier for him to land the rest of his damage. So in his case, he uses the shield to apply aggression. In my case, the shield is a byproduct of my aggression. It's not the same. Whoa. True damage to champions? How did I have the most true damage to champions? I've got no true damage in my kit, no true damage in my items. The only true damage I had available to me was red buff, which I only had once. Ah, my ultimate, you're right, but I don't think it counts that. Or, or okay, never mind. It, it doesn't count, it doesn't count like the millions of damage that would potentially be applied. It used to do that. It used to do it so that it, like, if you ulted a Trindamir, it would show that he had like nine million self-mitigated damage because your ultimate, the way it works is, first it does your current life in damage, then it does your max life in damage, then it does like 100,000 damage, 
then 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 or hold on then it does like 10,000 damage 100,000 damage a million damage then 10 million damage something like that so it makes sure you're really really dead that that's the point is that Urgot's ultimate makes sure you're really dead I think that was done because in Earth it shows your health bar in like the millions so I guess this was to make sure that in Earth it would still kill you but the point is, it used to be that you would see like 9 million or 10 million, however many million self-mitigated damage anytime Trinity Mirror used his ultimate during your ultimate. But that doesn't happen anymore. You don't see that. Um, I assumed rightly that it wouldn't show the true damage on it either. Because it's not like, I, I guess you can measure how much true damage it does. But since the ability is coded so funky as it is, I thought that it just wouldn't work that way. 